Hey everybody, Anna Kruger here with the MAPS ISA Coaching Program of Keller Williams. And today we're going to talk about four things to evaluate when things seem a little funky. Maybe your numbers aren't quite coming through, your appointments seem low, and you're wondering what is going on. So the first thing that you want to evaluate is your number of contacts. And this might sound super basic, yet I'm thinking back to a time, it was about 10 years ago, my manager came in and said to me, what's up? You know, you're your numbers seem off today. You're not bringing in the appointments you usually do. What do you think's going on? And I said, well, I think it's because it's snowing outside. I was in Maryland. We had a, ma a massive snowstorm. And in my mind, it's because it's snowing. People aren't really wanting to talk about this. And she kind of smirked at me lovingly as she pulled up my tracker and we could see that my calls had actually drastically dropped. So in my mind, I don't know what's going on. I think it's the snowstorm. And in reality, my number of contacts had dropped. So if you're experiencing an issue where you're thinking, okay, what's up? My appointments aren't where I think they should be. Stop and check and see, is your contact number where it needs to be to get you where you wanna go? The other thing you wanna think through is, is it your lead source? Has your lead source changed? Have you ventured into a new world, a new, a new pipeline that you're building that can also impact your appointment ratio? The third thing that you want to evaluate is your skill set. So, have you gotten away from scripting? As you look at your conversion numbers, for example, contact to set, you should be right around 5% or higher. That's one out of every 20 are turning into an appointment, and that's across all lead sources. So, again, general bucket, yet you should be somewhere in that 5% range. So, if you're not there, you want to stop and ask yourself, have I gotten away from a script? or a language pattern that I know works, and for whatever reason, I've moved away from it and get back into alignment with that pattern. The fourth thing that you wanna check, and it is the most important, the most vital, and I would say it can actually overcome the other three, is your mindset. Where is your mindset? Are you tanking with mindset? What are you doing about that? I know from working with a lot of our awesome MAPS clients is a lot of times it's rooted in your morning routine. So I hear people say, when I'm not working out, when I'm not eating healthily, or maybe I used to meditate and I'm not doing that anymore. And of course we have affirmations where you're telling yourself statements that you believe to be true about yourself or want to be true about yourself. Have we abandoned those? And sometimes our mindset is the biggest determining factor in our success. In fact, I would argue it is always the biggest determining factor in our success. So four things I want you to evaluate. If things seem a little bit off, Take a minute and check your contact number, check your skill level, check your mindset. Those are some of the biggest things that you can refer back to. All right, guys, check out isamapscoaching.com. If you have anything else you wanna check out, go to the webinars section. We have a whole bunch of webinars in there. If you're curious about enrolling in coaching, click on that tab and we'd be happy to chat with you. All right, guys, you have a great day.